Hello fellas, uh, Gav again uh, with a, another bench update. Um, this is to my uh, Tabletop Commanders Winter Warmer Painting Challenge uh, in brackets the Broad 14's project. Uh, I was already going to do this and uh, I've uh, attached it onto the uh, Tabletop Commanders Winter Warmer Painting Challenge. Uh, this is a German S-boat, a motor torpedo boat. Uh, she depicts the S38, although um, obviously I've got a collection of them, so uh, I will uh, add some pennant numbers on at some stage. Now, what I'm hoping to do is put a magnetic base on the back, on underneath, and that way I can attach a small. Um, when they're in in game, they can have a you know like a little piece stuck to the back saying who they are. Um, I've decided uh, with all my uh, pals on uh, tabletop commanders. Uh, Paint and chat nights, uh, they're all going to get to command a boat or a ship. Uh, so, this is our boss Curtis, he's going to be flotilla leader, which is only befitting. Um, so, this is going to be his S boat. Uh, they could do about 45 knots at a push, um, they're um, armed quite heavily, especially as, he, as these are later war boats. Um, the Allied air threat got that bad, obviously they were sticking as many guns on them as they could get. Uh, they were normally armed with three 20mm anti-aircraft guns and a 40mm. Carried two 21-inch torpedo tubes um, but could also, and uh, could carry two spares as well which aren't depicted on this model. Um, but they could also carry up to eight mines in lieu of torpedoes. So they were really handy um, little uh, ships and they fought right to the end of the war until you know either the Allies had sunk the last few in the ports or actually captured the ports so they couldn't operate or which was happening to the uh, German war effort through, you know on whatever front they were on uh, just running out of fuel so that's the S38 this is an R boat um, the motor mine sweepers um, although they were often used for uh, convoy escorts, uh, again very very heavily armed. Uh, they, um, I'm just trying to think now what they had. <laughs> they, uh, they could go about 25 knots, um, and they're armed with a 37 millimeter, three 20 millimeters, and this one also carries two 18 mil, uh, 18 inch torpedo tubes. Uh, again, though, um, they're fitted for mining um, depth charges, as you can see in this case. Um, they were literally made of all work really. In fact I didn't even know they carried torpedo. Uh, some of them were fitted with torpedoes until I saw this model. Uh, and also the weapons fit could literally be anything they could get their hands on really. This has got singles but I've seen pictures of them, photographs of them with a quadruple 20mm uh, cannons. More or less like the fl all the flat guns that the German armed forces used on all fronts. Uh, they stuck them on these boats. Uh, again the little ensigns are only you know, I've done them just at, they look a bit up, up close, they, they look a bit shabby, but um, they're not so bad when they're looked at a distance. They're only there for effect, really. So, my mate Bob is going to be commanding this one. Unfortunately, with Bob, he likes to get the next biggest thing going, so he's already tried to ask me to put a six inch gun on this one. And I keep telling him that it would probably uh, sink below the uh, quayside if it did. But uh, Anyway, that's the R-boat. I've only got the one of those, but I might well purchase another one because they were um, very big on uh, escorting convoys. And here we have a Royal Navy motor torpedo boat. This is a 73-footer. And um, I'm just trying to think, she can go about 40 knots as well. Um, the overly large gun that you can see on the front, which is a six pounder quick firer, uh, the lads would stand up at the side of that and operate it. So you can, you can imagine these guys going hell for leather, doing anything from 20 to 40 knots. And you're trying to um, keep the enemy at bay with that gun and keep your feet at the same time. Uh, she was also, this one's also got a um, twin 20mm Orlikan cannon uh, on that bandstand at the back. And uh, she's also armed with, I think, 18 inch torpedo tubes on this model. So, yeah, it's a nice, handy little, uh, 
little ship and that depicts most of our uh, sm smaller torpedo boats in the channel although this being a later war boat she um, she carries a heavier armament than some of the earlier boats um, I've shown a bit of rust around the portholes because they were obviously metal around there but the actual boat itself is actually wooden uh, with some armour around the bridge so there you go guys that's uh, that's MTB 532 I believe and last but no means least this is HMS Lancelot which is an Admiralty class trawler um, they they took I think they made about um, 12 of these um, these were made directly for the Navy and they were based on a pre-war trawler um, and they're all used for auxiliary mine sweeping but also um, for convoy escorts when the need arose I've stuck a bit of brass as you can see a bit of a brass radio mast there um, and a bit of a paper clip so it's not the best but it will do for war gaming I had to paint on the splinter um, around the around the bridge there that's uh, splinter matting to stop uh, obviously splinters uh, maiming the crew there's a searchlight on the top there again single 20 millimeter all looking at the back a um, couple of machine guns although they, they look more <laughs> They look more like warlickens at the bottom as well there. But it's, um, it, it reckons on the on the sheet it says two machine guns, so you know you can take that as machine guns or twenty mils. And then at the front there you've got a, a twelve pounder. It's quite generic on these vessels. And this one will be commanded by my mate Ian. Hopefully successfully. Oh, I should have show at the back. Yeah, you've got a couple of depth charges, and those bulbous things there are sweeps uh, for the. Uh, for a mine, mine sweeping roll, they'd be towed at the back and they would cut cables of moored mines. Again, the ensign is a bit of a botched effort really, it's way too big for for the vessel, but um, at a distance it doesn't look too bad. So guys, thanks a lot, this has gone on forever. Um, hope you're all keeping well and thanks for keeping an eye on my Broad 14's project and uh, I'll have another update soon. Cheers!